Uh, I want to talk about the trends that we're seeing. So, Andy, what trends are you seeing right now in 2024 and why are they working in your mind? Oh, man, the trends. Uh, yeah. We're only like three weeks in, James. It's true. So, uh, so yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get over it. No, in, in general, what we'll talk about is like a um, couple things that, that are going on right now. I think... Uh, you know, your personal brand slash social presence is like becoming more important than ever. Now, why is that? I mean, it's always been important, but like, you know, I, I per per personally think it's arbitrage at this point, right? Like getting content online. Why? And in every period of time, you know, 2014 was like Facebook ads arbitrage before like the, you know, the Apple restriction before that it was right after that was if you got outreach before all of your friends and other companies, you were sending more emails, right? And it wasn't as saturated. So you were getting ahead and that was arbitrage. Um, so right now I think the arbitrage is, is getting your team to do content online. And I know like everyone's harping on that, but it's, it's so true y'all. Like it's, um, it's simple, but obviously not easy to do. So that, that's a big trend. And not only, are, you're not posting content really for like the likes and the comments and the dopamine hits. That stuff is awesome. But why you're posting content online is for one sole reason, because it's complimenting your cold emails. Now, how is it complimenting your cold emails? A lot of the gurus are going to tell you, hey, your cold emails, use this as a subject line, use this as a, as a, as a message in the body. And yes, that stuff's important, y'all. But you know what the most important piece of cold email is, y'all? Can anyone take a guess? It's the reply. <laughs> Now, well, well yeah, I, yeah. It's always going to be the reply. For the me. reply, of course, you want the reply. Before the reply, what's the most important thing about an email? Open it, man. Open it. <laughs> uh, open, but put it in the chat. The offer? Nope, nope, not even yet. Nedco, nope. Cam, Come what's on. your what, Cam? What, what's what your guess? We see relevant subject. Nope, nope, not yet, y'all. You, the person. Yes, <laughs> Justin. Get. Are we giving away a gift card or anything in this? In this. Oh session, no, James? but we should. Justin, hit me up and uh, the, let's Ju talk about Justin's it. getting the gift card. You, the person. <laughs> yes, because Justin <laughs> Anzalone from. Let's see, where are you from, Justin? Did you put it in here? Well, J Justin wins. All right. Uh, <laughs> and that's because you know, the most important part is you, the person. The name. <clears throat> Guess what? If James Buckley emails me after this, I'm probably going to open that email. Why? Because I was just on a call with him. Same thing goes for the content online, right? If you're seeing me show up on the feed on LinkedIn yeah, every single morning for a year, and I email you with my name, how, what are the chances you're going to open that? Probably so I got to support high. this because I do a lot of cold calling and sometimes I'll call somebody and yeah. they'll be like, oh man, how are you? Like they're excited to hear from me yeah. because I create the content, right? So I have to be supportive. Yeah. Cam, Cam, the trend that you are seeing since we kicked off in 2024, that is most impressive for, for Andy, it's getting your reps to create content. What's this, this, the LinkedIn selling trend that you're seeing that's been effective? Yeah, I think, I think the trend that's top of mind for me compliments Andy's and it's 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 a buzzword. Um, we talked about it, but it's it's authenticity. It's being genuine and real. Uh, a lot of that is because of the rise of AI. Um, mm. You want to you want it to be clear that your your content, your emails, your messages weren't written by Chat GPT. I literally will say I'm a human being, or I'm a real boy, and then I put the picture of Pinocchio. It's pretty good. It's effective. Well, there's even videos these days that are made by AI that look like the person's actually talking themselves. It'll say your name, but it's AI. So um, coming across as, as actually you, the person, is a little bit more top of mind. It's like, you know, it's be a little bit more genuine, more um, you and not a robot. So how is that different than personalization, Cam? Personalization can be done by a robot. So, um, you have to, it, it's more of knowing your audience, okay. not just knowing what the audience's title is, knowing what their, their pain points are, what their goals are, what they're looking for, how you can help them, what value you bring to them. We're deep in ICP territory. <laughs> yeah. Exactly.